Hey everyone and welcome to this YouTube video where I'm going to be running through 10 of the best places to go and take photos in Berlin in Germany. Uh, now I have visited all 10 of these places, we're going to jump straight into the list, however I would also like to add the fact that there are more than likely many more places so please do do your research and this is all just my own opinion and also while you're there as well please make sure to subscribe to the channel as it really does mean a lot to me and it does help me out. So literally, like I said, straight in, number one is Oberbaum Bridge or Oberbaum Bridge. Again, the pronunciation or pronunciation of these places might not be absolutely amazing. So please do bear with me with this sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, so this bridge uh, is essentially where some of the metro trains actually drive over the top of it. Um, and I actually managed to get there literally as the sun was setting. Uh, and with the really, really nice light and stuff like that in golden hour, it was really, really nice to have the sun behind the bridge. Um, if you're stood on the on the east side of the bridge looking towards the west, as the sun sort of cuts through some of the cars and stuff like that on the actual uh, trains and whatever it is that they're actually called. Uh, cars, I guess. But yeah, you can get some really, really nice shots here. The bridge itself is gorgeous. However, like I said, to give something a little bit of life, wait for these yellow beautiful train carriages and stuff like that um, and they really really do make for a good photo i would also like to add it's almost like a bonus slash 11th thing uh, is to just take photos of these amazing train cars uh they're yellow and yellow really to pop in the city as well um, so that is definitely something else that I would like to mention too. And these could be seen loads and loads of different places. Um, so just keep an eye out. Um, and even in the, the metro stations as well, uh, some of the above ground ones, uh, you can take some really, really nice photos too. Now, Elson Bridge is location number two uh, in this list. And I mentioned Elson Bridge for a couple of reasons actually. One, because the view back towards the center of Berlin is actually really, really nice. But also because there's this statue there called the Molecule Man. I think it might have like a, like a German name. Um, but yeah, it's called the Molecule Man. And essentially, it's literally just like a, a series of like three statues all facing together. Um, and it just makes for good photography, essentially. Um, and like I said, the view of the rest of uh, Berlin is absolutely wonderful as well. And you can literally walk up and down the river as well, which is like a quite nice route to take. And I'm sure that there are many other places for photography that you can go along that walk down the river. Next up is the Bood Museum or Bode Museum. Again, I don't know how to pronounce these absolutely perfectly, but essentially this is a art museum uh, as far as I can work out. However, the photography opportunity is on the outside of the building, uh, actually on the opposite side of the river. There are a couple of uh, bridges and there's actually a, a current office for Google um, where you, I think is the best view um, because essentially you can view the museum and then the river um, within, within Berlin uh, actually crosses and like, almost like the museum splits the river into two which is really really nice. I think they call it Museum Island but the view there looking down is really really lovely. Um, so that is another one of the locations and in and around the area too is very very nice as well. I believe there's some like coffee shops and stuff like that so yeah go nuts. So next up on the list is Potsdamer Platz or place well, again, pronunciation, not my strong suit. Um, but essentially, this place uh, is one of the more modern areas within Berlin. It's actually right next to the Sony Center, which I will get to in a minute. But essentially, this place I found was really, really useful at nighttime for some night photography. Um, and there's just a lot of life in the area. Um, very good for like long exposures and stuff like that. Um, and also, if you uh, look around, there's like an arcade as well with some like, modern sort of um, architecture in as well. Uh, so that's really good as well for photography. Um, and yeah, just a generally nice area. Uh, it runs very, very, um, uh, it's literally like splits where the Berlin Wall was as well. So there is also a small section of wall there. There's also wall dotted around, uh, like Berlin Wall dotted around all over, but there is some of the section there if that's something that you were looking to go and see as well. And yes, I did mention it, but the Sony Center is next up on this list. Now this is definitely modern. Um, and essentially, I believe that obviously the naming rights are owned by, surprise, surprise, Sony. Uh, but the inside, like atrium, isn't inside, but it's outside. It's very, very nice in there. Um, and the view looking up at the, at the roof and the ceiling uh, is genuinely very, very nice. There's a nice um, fountain in there as well. Um, and actually, another reason why I wanted to mention it is if you go around the back of uh, like the main courtyard, um, sort of towards the 
east. Uh, no, the west. If you go west, um, like on the outside of the buildings, you'll actually or may notice that it's actually one of the filming locations for Captain America Civil War as well, which as a massive Marvel fan is great for me, but also just as a nice little side note. But again, very good for, for photography, um, lots of modern architecture. Go check it out. And then speaking of filming locations, here is another one which is used repeatedly for uh, various different films such as Hunger Games and again Captain America Civil War. Um, some of the photos you may actually recognise um, from various other films, again I don't know every single film that's been filmed there, but essentially this uh, almost like underground place is actually used for like again underground, it's like an un underground car park and there's like a road that goes through as well um, and it just looks very like futuristic but not but mod it's, it's a very strange like alt future vibe down there or at least that's how, what i felt like it was um so yeah there is a very good place for photography as well there's a reason why it's used as a filming location it does genuinely look very interesting down there next up on the list is Tiergarten, or the main i guess garden that's in Berlin. Um, essentially it starts off at the Brandenburg Gate and works its way all the way down to the Victory Column and even further. It's a little bit like I guess Hyde Park in London for example um, or Central Park I guess in New York not like I've been but essentially there are lots of photography opportunities here. Uh, people walking their dogs, um, there's some old military bits and pieces as well, the Brandenburg Gate obviously um, and if you manage to get in the central reservation of the road, you have like direct sight, lines of sight to either the Brandenburg Gate and also the Victory Column as well, which is also a very nice thing to phot uh, photograph. Um, and also if you stand at the bottom of the stairs, like going because you can't cross the road directly at the Victory Column, you have to go underground to then go up into the centre of it. But if you stand at the bottom of the stairs and look up at the Victory Column, it can actually frame the victory column very very nicely as you can see in this photo so that is another decent place to go and take uh, photographs um, and there's a couple of other places like within the park there's um, some, some sculptures and stuff like that some little streams and again lots of like people walking around as well if you're into some sort of street photography too so yeah do go check it out it's probably going to be one of the first places that you would notice really um, and it's right next to um, a couple of other places uh, like the Reichstag building and uh, a building that I'm going to mention later on, the Paul Loeb building. Again, pronunciation, not my strong suit. Uh, this one is going to be a very quick one. We were speaking about parks. Here is another park. It is called Victoria Park and it features something which you may not expect to find in Berlin, which is actually a very nice waterfall. Um, wasn't expecting to discover one at all, uh, but they happen to have one in this park. I think it's lovely. It's a lovely line of sight to go check it out. Alrighty, so we are almost done with the list, but next up is a car museum. Now, again, this isn't specific to Germany, but it's more pointing out that there is one in Germany. If you may know, Germans like their cars. Um, so, of course, they're going to have a very nice car museum. Um, it's not directly in the city centre. You have to actually like take a bus or maybe even take the metro to get there. But they do feature some really, really nice cars in glass cases and stuff like that, which is lovely, very beautifully preserved and well kept and stuff like that. So if you want to go and see some very incredible rare cars, go for it. They have a couple of shops in there too as well. Um, but obviously the cars is the reason why you would go there for photography. Um, and also they actually have an old uh, Formula 1 car that was driven by Sebastian Vettel, among others. Um, and then they have uh, another old uh, Formula 1 car, again off the top of my head, I can't remember what it is. But go, have a look. They also have a really, really nice old Bugatti up there as well. Um, and I actually found you can go up onto the top. Um, and look down on some of the cars and stuff like that. Like they have like Alfa Romeos, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, that sort of stuff. Um, so you can actually go up on the top and get a bit, diff bit of a different perspective and look down on the stuff. Um, and I actually managed to find some of these light bulbs that were plugged in and you can actually look through them and you can see the, the old Bugatti, which I thought was a lovely photo opportunity. And lastly, uh, the Paul Luber, build Luber building, again, pronunciation, not my strong suit, uh, is essentially a modern government building. It's right next to the Reichstag building, very near uh, Tiergarten, which is the main garden with Brandenburg Gate, that sort of stuff. So again, very central. Um, but again, very lovely modern architecture. It's on the river, you've got some boats going through as well. And on a summer's day, it's actually genuinely really, really nice. And it just so happens again uh, to be where they filmed some, some more of Captain America Civil War 2. Um, so that is, again, just another nice thing. But photography, very nice space, modern, huge windows, 
good for street photography more than likely as well again not typically my style but it would be a place that i would typically go there and potsdamer platz but yeah go there check it out huge windows get what's not to love reflections everything go and check it out all right, so that is it for my 10 places, which I would recommend. Uh, there are obviously gonna be loads more places, probably places that I didn't even uh, mention, like some famous churches and stuff like that that you would want to go and take photos of. However, this is just a top 10 from me personally. There were also some places that I wanted to go and visit which either weren't open, or I just didn't manage to get time to. I wasn't there for that long. Um, so please do your research, actually work out exactly like, you know, a few more places to go. Again, these are just off the top of my head and my favorite places that I thought were the best in Berlin. Um, one thing I would like to mention though, and this is more of a personal thing, I would like to recommend that you do not take photos in the memorial to the murdered Jews. I just feel like it's very disrespectful. You do see people taking photos in them and, you know, letting kids climb all over it and stuff like that. And again, I can understand how it could make for a good photo, but I just feel like out of respect, I would recommend not doing it. I didn't personally. Completely your choice. If you want to do that's fine, but I just feel like it's a little bit disrespectful just off the top of my head, just wanted to mention that. However, that being said, I do hope that this video was very enjoyable uh, and you managed to find out some decent places to go and uh, point your camera at uh, in Berlin. Um, and let me know if there's something that I missed or maybe a favorite place that you have in Berlin that you would like to go and take photography or have taken some photos and stuff like that as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do like and subscribe and stick around for the next one. Cheers.